Hi guys, it's been a while that I made a video about investing in cryptocurrencies and a um, little update. Uh, Bitcoin is doing well, uh, at least the prices uh, were um, breaking the all time high of the uh, bull market that has been going on since the start of 2000. 2015 uh, it bottomed out at $160 and now uh, and it went up two times first to $500 then to $750 uh, and now again it uh, went to $750 and it broke $750 so um, and since the dollar is pretty strong in euros uh, actually uh, there is a, clearly a, a new all-time high at about 720 euros uh, for the past two years um, but of course in 2013 it went to thousand euros a little bit higher and the euro was still stronger then and it went to thousand hundred fifty dollars then uh, but um, <clears throat> I feel very good uh, confident uh, in this rally um, of course uh, it can correct, uh, but I think chances are quite high that we will go to the old all-time high of a uh, thousand euros and a thousand hundred fifty dollars, um, because a lot of people have seen that price in the past. A lot of investors um, are confident uh, up until that price and don't feel it is expensive, but it's just like going back to previous valuations. A lot uh, in the markets about prices psychology um, very like always price is not connected to fundamentals only in the long term will price go towards fundamental value but in the short term it will differ and it can differ strongly and so even though Bitcoin has fundamental problems uh, um, um, the amount of transactions is not going up as fast anymore as in the past because it has topped out um, it can't go any higher uh, currently uh, in, uh, because of decisions made by the uh, development team um, so 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 that's uh, of course a big problem um, and it could be that it won't be resolved and um, and, and it will be like this for another year or, or two years um, but I have this good feeling that the price will not care and the market will not care and even if uh, the amount of transactions stagnates for Bitcoin uh, the value will continue to go up uh, in a bubble uh, wise uh, uh, the way it has gone up in the past um, uh, why do I think that? Um, because, I mean, the price will go up, uh, not um, at, a, at a constant pace, but in, in bubble rhythm. Eh? Uh, that's how it goes. Eh? So, um, uh, greed and fear um, causes this. Uh, and, um, and so right now, since we have been on an uptrend for two years, almost um, uh, this is a, a self-fulfilling uh, cycle huh? the higher it goes the more people that start to buy in so 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 uh, but why um, do I think that um, we will get a bubble uh, even if the fundamentals look uh, much worse for Bitcoin um, because Bitcoin has uh, laid the groundwork for this to happen uh, over the past uh, many years. Uh, the past, um, so many people know about Bitcoin in the world. Uh, many more people know about Bitcoin in the world than uh, a valuation of 10 billion justifies. Um, I mean, all the people in the investment world... Um, that decide over huge amounts of capital. No Bitcoin. Huh? Um, that's that's tremendous. Um, uh, because these people will like many people and just the mass mass market. Like just 
simple investors, eh, people with a little bit of money. All these people, they don't know about Ethereum, the second uh, biggest one. In the crypto community, yes, everybody knows Ethereum. But in the world, in the, in the fiat world, nobody knows that. Except for a few very advanced investors in Silicon Valley. But that's very important uh, uh, because the way these bubbles go is the higher the price goes, uh, the more news outlets, mass media news outlets start to report on Bitcoin. And so if it goes to this uh, old, all time high around thousand dollars or around uh, uh, that, then very likely a, a lot of articles are going to appear and uh, in, in news outlets and, and 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 for the mass market they, they they know Bitcoin they heard about it they know it's this like um, yeah this kind of uh, uh, this money that's used online to buy drugs eh? uh, but they think that. Um, yeah, uh, that failed because yeah, the price went down. They, they they didn't hear about it for two years and already had a scandal left or right about some kind of exchange going broke and they think Bitcoin has gone bust. But then it it it, it goes back, it comes back in the news and they say, mm, wow, that's still alive. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, and the price has gone up in the past two years. Wow. And, and last time, yeah, I really missed out on that. Um, uh, maybe I should buy some. And if only 1% of the people or 0.1% of, of such people do that, well, the price goes to a new all-time high. Eh? It will go above $1,000 and to $2,000, $3,000. And, and these people, do they dig into Bitcoin? And, 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 and maybe, no, they don't. Eh? Maybe they hear in the same article that there has been some problems in Bitcoin and, and, and there are, is internal conflicts about technical aspects. Maybe they will read that or hear that. But they will probably think like, yeah, sure. But last time, like, uh, like they, they are used to negativity also around Bitcoin. And they, they just want to, like, make money. <laughs> they don't... Uh, look at the problems. They only look at um, at what they know. So, so that's why I, I believe this is going to happen. And and um, but I also think that uh, this time um, a lot of people in the cryptocurrency world uh, know that Bitcoin is not. Um, a sure thing anymore compared to like three years ago um, there were no such big problems in Bitcoin itself eh? you had of course ha a lot of uh, things going wrong with with, with um, exchanges and all that but that was not Bitcoin uh, its fault however uh, currently there is like a big problem within Bitcoin that could really like um, cause a problem so people have Probably in the cryptocurrency world, even um, even 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 a lot a lot more people are open to altcoins. I think, and so what you have seen in the past is that every time Bitcoin goes up, at this, in the second phase when it goes over its old all time high, then then you see that a lot of bitcoins flow into altcoins, and altcoins end up going up even more than Bitcoin. Um, that was in the past. Uh, I, so I think this will continue and get worse um, because it's not the fiat investors that go into altcoins. It's I, that cause. I don't think. Well, maybe a little, but most. I think the biggest reason why altcoins go up in that second uh, part of the bubble is because Bitcoiners want to diversify, but they don't want to go to fiat as to avoid capital gains taxes or 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 or, or 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 they just don't believe in these investments that's much the alternatives but and so they want to stay within the cryptocurrency world 
uh, but they do need to diversify and compared to Bitcoin in the first phase of the market, these altcoins become really cheap because they end up like crashing versus Bitcoin. That's where we are now with altcoins. Eh? Um, it's not as bad actually as it used to be in last bubbles, altcoins in this stage were crashing hard. Eh? Uh, right now what you see is that actually they are not crashing hard versus Bitcoin, but they are losing value on average. Um, correcting versus Bitcoin minus 50% or so. Uh, between minus 30, minus 50% uh, since Bitcoin has gone into this new rally. Yeah? Um, I do, the last phase now eh, from, from, from uh, recovering from a correction to uh, 400. It was a flash crash actually eh, from the, when it went to 7, 750, it went immediately in a, in a week or so or a couple of days to, to 400 and then it has gone up again the past month, two months. Well, that's that in that rally, the past two months, altcoins uh, um, have lost about 50% or so of their value versus Bitcoin, NXT, for example, and Ardor was peaked out at 5,000, it's now at like 2,000 Satoshi. Um, and uh, and, and um, Ethereum also finally starts to correct now. Uh, making new lows uh, versus uh, Bitcoin, uh, as do many others. But it's not that strong as it used to be uh, in the last bubble in 2013. You only had uh, like coins like Litecoin, Peercoin, uh, Namecoin. They would like, um, yeah, correct strongly uh, up until like uh, the all time high, and then they would go up a lot. Uh, so I think the same will happen now, but stronger because I think a lot more bitcoins will flow, will be diversified into altcoins um, because bitcoiners on average realize more that uh, they actually do have a future, of, uh, probably, um, some of them. Huh? Whereas in the past, it was not, not a shared opinion. Uh, in the past, it was like, no, Bitcoin is going to take it and there's really no room for um, an alternative. Uh, it's not going to happen because of the network effect. Eh? Uh, but today, um, that's, that, 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 that opinion is not shared so much anymore. So, so, so I think right now the opportunity is in investing in altcoins. And I've been saying this two years and I've been way too soon and I lost a ton in altcoins. Um, so... My timing was wrong, uh, but um, this is uh, the right timing. Uh, like I shouldn't have done it myself. I should not have gone into, I started going into NXT, my first altcoin at the start of 2014. Um, so I was one of those suckers that diversified Bitcoin into altcoins, but way too late. Um, after uh, the altcoin had gone up already a lot, eh? I, 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 I diversified into, uh, into it uh, with Bitcoin profits and well, you know, I lost a lot more. Uh, 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 it was not a wise diversification because NXT went down a lot more than Bitcoin. Uh, so so, so that, that my timing was really wrong there. Eh? I should have not bought any altcoins, waited for the correction to happen in Bitcoin. That has uh, it took a, a year. Um, and then, uh, and then I should have started to invest in altcoins. And still, I would have like performed poorly because um, since the past two years, well, the altcoins I chose to invest in have not done as well at all as Bitcoin. Uh, but there are a lot of altcoins that, uh, well, it, it's it's mixed. Some altcoins have done very well versus Bitcoin, uh, uh, but there are also a lot of others that actually have done much worse uh, than the altcoins I selected. So, so it's, it's, uh, it, it, it wasn't easy, but um, yeah, uh, I do think the time is, is good for that to do right now. And um, voila. Uh, and now how, how to ride this market um, is also very important. Um, I haven't uh, diversified uh, any uh, cryptocurrencies into uh, fiat uh, investments um, um, for the past two years. Yes, I did uh, actually diversify, uh, had to sell some uh, 
for 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 living expenses, uh, Lamborghini breaking down. So all these things do uh, come from my crypto portfolio. But um, I'm not choosing to diversify into uh, uh, clicking in profits that I made in Bitcoin the past two years uh, towards fiat investments. I think it's uh, too soon, uh, way too soon for that. Um, I really want to um, um, uh, keep my gunpowder dry uh, till we are clearly in a, in a new bubble because that's not going to be easy if even if we get a new bubble it's going to be very tempting to start like thinking about diversifying towards fiat already at two thousand uh, dollars because you that means it's tripled triples from here that's a big big rally in in any other investment uh, you would like uh, feel like a king and so will you here but the timing will be very likely way too soon and and, and selling at 2000 uh, will be way too soon but you do have to hedge your uh, risk there is always a low chance it will be the all-time high and, and and from there it corrects and if you haven't sold anything then um then 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 you can do that but if you're starting to sell already today some you continue to do that as it goes up you don't have much gunpowder left to to sell uh, at at those pr higher prices and so i would say just by rough estimate i haven't done decent calculations on it but by rough estimate um the the the, the very likely i think the all-time high will be around five thousand um, dollars and so uh, so i think it's wise to like um, start selling at not 2,000 but 3,000 some, 4,000 some, 5,000 some and like build down your allocation um, as it goes up to if it would hit 10,000 like that's the limit then you don't have any cryptocurrency anymore you have sold everything uh, but but um, so 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 yeah th that's my plan uh, I've made a very big mistake in the last bubble to um, still have uh, even at the height around thousand dollars uh, sixty percent or seventy percent of my portfolio into cryptocurrencies, and and that was really wrong. I should have like inverted that, and not have like thirty percent into fiat, but like seventy percent in fiat and only thirty percent into uh, Bitcoin altcoins. That was a real fundamental mistake I made, and I, I won't do this again. But right now I am eighty percent in cryptocurrencies and um, and only twenty percent in fiat and. And I plan to uh, let that exposure go up uh, to hopefully 95% or 97%. Um, uh, but then cut back dramatically. The moment it goes to $3,000, it reaches as price. Like suddenly I'm going from 95% to like 70%. If it goes to like $4,000, I go from 70% to like 50% or 40%. If it goes to $5,000, I go to like 30%. Like then it's like... Like then it sells, uh, like it needs to go out and it will go out dramatically. Um, but uh, up until then, I think it's very important to not do that, to not balance. Because the odds are, investing it's all about odds. You have no certainties whatsoever, but you can estimate your odds and you have to invest based on those odds. And that's difficult because we fool ourselves a lot, me too, and estimate the odds wrong. Eh? Um, and that's okay you have to learn every time you try to do that a little bit better uh, but the biggest mistake I believe is that even th that people don't connect their investment allocations to the odds that they give an investment I made that big mistake myself uh, when I invested in Bitcoin in 2012 the first time it was ten dollars a piece and I said, okay, this looks like a great investment. I'm gonna put 10% of my portfolio into it. 10%. And so I chose to do to keep the other 90% in my older investments, which made me gold, gold mining stocks. Was that the correct? No, because I myself also thought, like, okay, this Bitcoin thing, it's very risky. But I mean, it was the market cap of hundred million dollars then. Like the story is so good that even if it will break down later on the technology, if it not is if 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 the code is not that strong as they claim, 
still, just based on the story, this will go very likely to $1 billion, the market cap of Bitcoin. That was my thought at the time. So this, the, the potential reward is times 10, and the chance for that to happen is pretty high. At the same time, I said, uh, like, I would have agreed that that's not the case for gold, which was my biggest investment then. Like, no, gold, gold times 10, uh, that's possible, but that's like unlikely uh, at that point in time. And it would take many years if it would happen. And um, the odds were not that good because um, gold had already had a major bull market since 2000. It was then 2012. Okay, it had gone up till 2011. I was still very bullish on gold, way too bullish. But I also realized at the same time that actually the gold bull market could have been, could be over. And so times 10 was possible, but not that likely as it was for Bitcoin. And so instead of having like 90% in gold, 10% in Bitcoin, I should have had like a lot more in Bitcoin and a lot less in gold. Huh? Um, so I should have had at, at least 50-50. And, 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 and the thing is that that's easy to say right now, but that's not easy to do then because the perceived risk of Bitcoin was much and was, was actually it was much higher and it's still today much higher than gold. Gold is much safer, but that doesn't matter. You don't have to look at just the risk. You have to look at the risk slash potential reward. If you don't do that, you make a big mistake. And if you look at the risk reward ratio, Bitcoin then was a much better investment than gold. And it is also today a much better investment than gold. Even though it's 70 times more pricier today, Bitcoin compared to gold, it is still a much better risk. It has a much better risk reward ratio. So, <clears throat> so, so, so that's why today I have the majority of my portfolio in cryptocurrency. Um, because for me, the odds are much better. Uh, well, the risk reward ratio is just much better. And that's why I do that. But that's only today. That's because today Bitcoin is only $750. And well, it reached this three years ago already. We had a, 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 a bear market, a recovery. So right now the odds are very good for Bitcoin, but that was not the case when it just had gone in 2013 from like $10 to $1,000. Then the odds were very, very bad for Bitcoin in the short term. In the long term was still very good, short term very bad. And I wasn't acting on that. I knew it, but I wasn't acting on it. And, and that was a big mistake. Now I respect also short term odds, not only long term, because a loss made in the short term is very painful. Huh? And if I can avoid that, I will try to. So, um, but right now, the short term for Bitcoin looks very good, uh, as well as the long term. Uh, actually, the long term does not look very good this time. Um, uh, but that's why I'm happy that, like, it's not just Bitcoin ever right now. Like, half of my portfolio is Bitcoin, the other half is altcoins. and. Um, cryptocurrency does look very good, long term also, um, uh, still today. Uh, it's just that Bitcoin doesn't look so good anymore. But I have some other altcoins and very likely if Bitcoin long term it doesn't go so well, that value will transfer to other altcoins. It will not transfer to gold. Um, so, so. So overall, uh, I am 80% uh, in cryptos, but half of it is altcoins. And um, I think that's a good bet to take. I wished I had been a lot more modest in my altcoin buying the past two years, because at one point I had like 75% altcoins, 25% bitcoins. And this has costed me a lot the past uh, two years, basically selling bitcoin. And instead of investing in Bitcoin, I very often invest in Bitcoin, but then also diversify these Bitcoins to altcoins and, and, and too soon. But I don't think now is too soon. It actually could be really the last opportunity if we go to $1,000 to buy those altcoins on the cheap. And you have a lot more evidence today also uh, about which altcoins are um, 
worth a bet to take and which altcoins are um, more risky. And I'm gonna make another video about that. So talk to you soon and thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.